Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet these two bluebirds on a branch. You'll need a small amount of five colours of cotton or wool. I'll be using four ply crochet cotton. You'll also need a crochet hook, sewing or darning needle and scissors. I'll be stitching it together with sewing thread. Now we start with a magic loop. You start as if you're going to do a chain and pull it loose instead of tight. Then we do three chain. Into our circle we're going to work 14 double crochet. For a double crochet you put your yarn round the hook, you put your hook in through the circle and pull up a loop. Then you put your yarn round, take it through two loops, you yarn round through two loops. So we're going to do th 14, so 13 more. When you're finished, you take hold of the tail and pull it as tight as you can. And then you work a slip stitch in the third of the chain. So in there, you work a slip stitch. So you push it through the chain, pull up a loop and take it through both. For row two, you work four chain and we're going to work one treble in the same stitch as our chain. So yarn round twice into the stitch where the chain was and pull up a loop, yarn around through two, yarn around through two, yarn around through two. Now we're going to work two treble into each of the next two stitches. Next we're going to work two double crochet into each of the next ten stitches.
Now we're going to work two treble into the into each of the remaining stitches. And then we join with the slip stitch in the fourth chain. For the tail, we're going to work four chain and we're going to work one treble into the same space as the chain. Into the next stitch, we're going to work one treble and one double treble. For a double treble we put the yarn round three times in the pick up a loop, yarn round, take off two, yarn round, take off two, yarn round, take off two, and yarn round, take off two. So four times we put our yarn round and take off two. And then we work another double treble into the next stitch. And that's our tail. So that's one of our birds. For the other bird, we work the body the same, but to face the other way we're going to do the tail the other way. So after we join with a slip stitch, we'll work five chain then we'll work a double treble into the same space as the chain. Into the next stitch we'll work a double treble and a treble. and then into the following stitch we just work one treble. And there's our tail. So our tails are facing the opposite way. Next I'm going to do the head. I'm going to make a magic loop and work four, four chain and into the loop I'm going to work 11 treble.
Now I'm going to pull, take hold of the tail and pull it tight, but I'm not going to, to join it with a slip stitch. I'm going to leave quite a long tail so that I can attach it to the head. So I'll cut it there and fasten off. And that's the head. For the wings, we'll make a magic circle. And we'll start with one chain and I'm going to work 12 single crochet into the loop. The single crochet is you put your hook into the circle and pull up a loop, yarn around and take through the two. So 12 single crochet. Then we pull it tight and slip stitch into the chain. Now we're going to work one chain and one single crochet into the next three stitches. Into the next stitch I'm going to work one half double crochet. A half double crochet is yarn round into the stitch and pick up a loop, yarn round and through all three stitches. Then I'm going to work a double crochet in the same stitch. Into the next stitch I'm going to work one treble. And then the following stitch, one double crochet and one half double crochet. And then single crochet in it, one single crochet into each stitch round to the, be the beginning of the row. And then slip stitch into the chain. And then fasten off. Now we'll need four wings. Now I've changed to brown cotton and I'm going to start on the branch. For the branch I need 40 chain. Now I miss the first chain and I'm going to work one single crochet in the next four stitches. And 
and then one half double crochet into the next two. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the following two stitches, one, one in each. One double crochet and then one double crochet in the next. And for the first little twig going off we're going to work seven chain. And we miss the first chain and then we work one single crochet into each of the next six. I'm going to work another single crochet into the this part here, the side of the, the double crochet and then another one further down. So I'm going to work two single crochet on the side of our double crochet, from the last one from along here. Now we're going to continue along the branch working 19 double crochet along There's my 19 double crochet. I'll now work a 12 chain. I'm going to miss my first chain and work one single crochet in the next three chain. and then one half double crochet into the next two chain. Now I'm going to double crochet over the remaining chain.
I'm going to work two double crochet into this the side of the double crochet from along the branch again so in into the towards the top I'll work a double crochet and then further down I'll work another one I'm going to continue along the branch I'll work about five double crochet and then I'm going to work a treble to the end of the chain. So that's the branch. Blend it off. I'm going to have red flowers today. Now I start with four chain. and then I slip stitch in the first chain to make a circle work one chain and do a single crochet into the circle now for the, the petals I'm going to work four, four chain and single crochet into the ring I need five petals so I'll do continue round four chain and a single crochet. I've got four petals so for the last one I'll work four chain and slip stitch into the first single crochet and I've got a small flower I'll probably work seven seven flowers Now for the leaves, I, I start with four chain I miss the first chain and I do one single crochet in the next two chain and then three single crochet in the last chain
and then working into the back of the chain I'll do two more single crochet into the back of those two chain and slip stitch into the chain I missed at the beginning so you've got a bit of a point for the leaves I'm going to stitch them onto the the branch with with the tail so I'll leave a long tail and I'll just cut off this this tail because I've worked it in so I'll make seven seven leaves and I'll make make some more flowers and wings and another head and finish off my endings and I'll be back. Now first we're going to stitch the heads on. This this bird will put the head just about there. So I'll stitch that on. Just stitch through the two layers like that. It just just looks like that. I just weave in the tail. And the other bird, the head will go. Just, just on about there. So I'll stitch that on and I'll be back and we'll crochet on the beaks. For this bird I'm going to start for the beak seven stitches up from the neck. So I'll join my thread in, in the seventh stitch. And just do three chain and then I'm going to work a joined double crochet over the next two stitches so yarn around into the stitch pick up a loop yarn around take off two and yarn around into the next stitch pick up a loop yarn around through two and yarn around through two and we've got the little beak. For this bird, we're going to start about probably three stitches up. On the third stitch, we'll start up and it will go up to the fifth. this bird will be looking down a bit and we'll do three chain and then another join double crochet. So 
I'll finish off the endings and we'll come back and put on an eye and attach the wings. For the eye I just stitch in black across the circle, just a little hole in the middle. I'll just do a little French knot and do a few stitches across it just to hold it down. Just like that. And I'll do the other one the same. To attach the wings we place one just in front of the tail and going down and covering a slight bit of the circle, the centre circle. And then we'll just sew that, out, that one on. Just round the bottom. The second wing will go behind the body, just in there, just slightly lower than the, the front wing, so just in like that. And then I attach it, it's got a bit of fluff on it, just attach it from the back, just secure it around here. Well that's our bird finished. I'll just do the other one and we'll come back and we'll attach our flowers and leaves and birds to the branch. Now to attach the leaves I run the needle through the bottom because I'll attach it from this end. This is a point, the pointy end so I'll have that pointing, pointing out. And then I'll just attach it to where I'd like on the branch. I'll have one here. Just attach them like that. So I'll probably put one each side of the top and one down here, one up here. Now I'll put two, two in on this end branch little twig at the end 
So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now there's my leaves stitched on. I've used seven today but you could use as many as you like. I'm going to use red flowers again. I'll probably place them something like that. Today I'm going to use pale yellow beads to stitch them on but you could use French knots or whatever you'd like. So I'll start here and then just stitch them on, just catch them a few times. Well, I'll attach the rest of the flowers on and then we'll be attaching the birds. So to stitch the birds on, I just place them like that. And I'll start with this bird. And just stitch through onto the branch. I'll do two rows. I just stitch across to the end of the bird and then down round and then back along the branch and back up and then I'll place this one probably about there and then stitch, do the two rows across. So I'll do that and I'll come back and I'll show you the finished bird. Now there's the birds finished. You could do them in other colours as well. There's some white birds and some lighter blue birds. I've also done them in red and yellow and they look quite good too. Next I'll be showing you how to, to make a little baby singlet. Just doing these little flowers around the neck and I've added some little blue birds from the same pattern as I've uh, used for the birds today. If you like my videos, please subscribe, like and share. I'm also on Pinterest and Instagram. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.